Hey, I'm Reed. This is Brad. We're talking today about NetApp disk shelves, and uh, we get inquiries all the time that uh, someone's got a filer or a controller, and they're trying to add more capacity, but they don't know what disk shelf they should add. So there's four disk shelves that we typically run into that customers are trying to add. The old, old disk drives are DS14, MK4s, and MK2s, mm -hmm. but most people have graduated to this newer uh, disk shelf. What's the next uh, uh, shelf on our list here? So the next one's a 42, 46, and you can actually tell the number of drives by the model number. Okay. So 42, 46, the middle two numbers indicate the number of drives. Okay. Um, and so the diff difference with the uh, 42, 46 is it only supports SATA drives. Oh, okay. And that's just because it has to do with the bus. It's a different bus from the 4243. So that one holds 40, 24 drives. 24 drives, but, but it, only SATA. But only SATA. Mm -hmm. So why would someone get just a SATA shelf versus a shelf that's more versatile and has both? Performance for the SATA drives. Gotcha. So because the backplane is different. Oh, it is? Yes. It's designed for SATA drives. So it actually gives more performance for a SATA drive to be in that shelf. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's a good little tip. So I hope that gives you a little bit of explanation. There's four disk shelves that are out right now, and you can use them to upgrade just about every filer out there. Uh, knowing the workload and your growth, as well as how much room you have in your data center, really uh, will dictate what shelf you're going to pick, and uh, also the pricing perspective as well. So a new disk shelf is typically going to be about two or three times more expensive than a used disk shelf, so make sure you have a used strategy uh, when you upgrade your filers to get more capacity for less money. Thanks for watching the video.